So in last video we have learned that the equation of line is y equal to mx plus c where m is equal to tan theta where this is the angle theta and c is the intercept on the y-axis so this much was c right and if we are provided with the equation of a line how to find the equation of a line which is parallel to this line so there can actually be infinite line which are parallel to this line right so all these lines are parallel to this line our original line whose equation was y equal to mx plus c and if all these lines are parallel then all these angles this angle this angle and this angle all of them will be equal to theta right so if all these angles are equal then any line which is parallel to our original line will have m equal to tan theta and suppose if you are interested in any particular line which passes through a given point x1 and y1 then the equation of this particular line will actually be equal to y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 equal to m so m is the slope of the line and all the parallel lines will have the same slope so this is actually the equation of a line which passes through a particular point x1 y1 and whose slope is m so you know m m will be same as the original line and these two if you know you can find the equation of a line which is parallel to our original line passes through the point x1 y1 right so this is all about parallel lines and how to find the equation of a perpendicular line so this is our original line which is y equal to mx plus c and you can actually have infinite number of lines which are perpendicular to this line all these lines which make a 90 degree angle from this line all of them will be line perpendicular to our line whose equation was y equal to mx plus c so the equation of a line which was passing through one particular point was y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 is equal to m1 this m1 is actually the slope of all these perpendicular lines so all these angles this angle this angle this angle and this angle all of them will be equal and all of them will actually be equal to 90 plus theta see if you consider this triangle this is the exterior angle of this triangle so this angle will be equal to the sum of these two interior angles right so this will be equal to this is 90 plus theta all this we have learned earlier so you can refer those videos that means this m1 which is the slope of the lines perpendicular to our original line will be equal to tan 90 plus theta right this angle is 90 plus theta and tan 90 plus theta we have learned earlier is nothing but minus cot theta or this can be written as minus 1 by tan theta and tan theta is actually the slope of our original line so the slope of all the perpendiculars to this line will be minus 1 by m because tan theta is equal to m so all the lines who have slope equal to minus 1 by m will be perpendicular to all the lines which have slope equal to m so we have found the slope and if we are talking about any particular line which passes through a particular point then you can use this to find the equation of that particular perpendicular line to this given line so this is how you can find lines parallel to a given line and lines perpendicular to a given particular line so that's all for this video and for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos so bye bye till then